Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. If you're joining us from last... Why am I saying joining us from last time? There was no last time, this is the first time playing Doki Doki Literature Club series. Series? Why did I say series? I don't even know if I'm going to do more than one of these. What's going on? Well, it's ne never mind. <laughs> I guess, uh... I guess uh, we just have to play the. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle up in front of the crosswalk to let catch up to me. Hello, hello, hello there. It's an ordinary school day like any other. That's weird. I have a. My mouth tastes like copper. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Always alone. <laughs> Forever alone, some would say. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average while spending my free times on games and anime. Wait, does... Why is my nose bleeding? Uh, there's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. <laughs> they hate anime, right? <laughs> Ms. Anne? Monica? That's weird. I thought Missing O was here for a second. <laughs> but it's you, Monica, my best friend. Oh my oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh has it? Yeah, I guess it has been. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Yeah, that's it. But Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. <laughs> uh, so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Um, what did you come in here for anyway? I, I feel like... Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Hey, Ms. Ann, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Um, I mean, I guess so, but, uh, in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big fave? That's how we say favor. I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse, uh, except for this. Th why is my cursor doing that? Stop it. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? I can't. I can't. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Haha, <laughs> awesome. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back, Tilda. That's my catchphrase, Tilda. <laughs> and I brought a guest with me. G a guest? Get guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? That's gross. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. You know what happens to the mean ones. But anyway, welcome to the club, Ms. Ann. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Well, I don't know. It feels like someone's... So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? Whoa, 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 hold on a second. No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. 
Her small figure and bubblegum hair makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. Ah, uh, a little too energetic. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It, it's nice to meet you. Wait, Monica? Uh, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Ms. Anne, next to me? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Man Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica, my best friend. So, I know you really didn't plan on coming here. Um, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? Right at home. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. There's still one problem. Now that we've reached the most important part, I will never join this club. Blah, blah, blah. Booty blue. Huh? <laughs> I guess I need to tell you the truth. We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. <sighs> uh, wait a minute, that's not true. We're, we have four... Wait a minute. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Uh, I see. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Wonderful. Do you really mean it, Ms. Anne? Yeah, sure, why not? It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. Ha ha ha, never do it again. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Wait a minute, did you say pissed before? <laughs> Ms. Anne, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. You have an all- Oh, yeah, of course, I would love to read this special poem. Sure. I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Huh, that's a shitty poem. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone is already hanging up- Thanks for keeping your promise, Mizan. You're welcome, Yuri. Great to... Uh, um, I hope this isn't too overwhelming a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not a... Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, come on! Like he deserves any slag! You already had to be dragged here, Monica! Hi, Monica. Sorry, I didn't mean to say Monica. I don't know how, if you plan to just come in here and hang out or whatever, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps the Magna Collection in the club room. Mm. But Natsuki finds herself stuck in between saying the Magna stuffs. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops down in her chair. Uh... Did the music just change? Yuri shoots Natsuki a disapproving glance. Uh, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, uh, I can't really say no either way. <laughs> like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Uh, are you sure? Are you getting motion sickness right now? I, I just felt like Will is vice president and all. 
that I should help you get started on something that you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Okay. So I picked up out, out a book that I thought you might like enjoy, like Joey. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even poked out, picked out, poked out, picked out. Yuri, thank you! I enthusiastically take the book. <laughs> Let's go ahead and skip over a little... Oh, whoa! Okay. Wait a minute. Now that everyone's settled in, that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but, uh, yeah, this is all still the same stuff. Basically, it's about this religious camp, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. That's different. <laughs> but the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Well... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler, loop a loop but anyway, I'm I'm really into it. Okay, the the book I mean, I'm into the book, N not the thing about the hacking off the the limbs and the blood. That's kind of dark, isn't it? I thought it was gonna be a nice story, so that dark current turn came out of nowhere. Haha, <laughs> Wait a minute, why is that familiar? Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Mizan? No, I I mean I do. I think I like those stories, so don't worry. I hope so. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of thing that uh, challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Um, Have you heard about nihilism, Yuri? Then suddenly, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I think. In, in fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Yes! Da! I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, I, I think I do have to. L let me just get the book. <clears throat> let, me, let me just get the book. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's like, okay, this is the same stuff again, too. Um, let me just... So sorry! I was just bathing... What? Yuri, you you really apologize a lot, don't you? Um, I don't I don't really mean to. Sorry, I mean. <laughs> oh, it's all nothing. It's all nothing. That's all it is. It's it's all. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this place forever now. I can't get out. I can't get out. It's just going to be the same thing over and over again. <laughs> no. No, let me go. Let me go. I don't want to be Doki Doki anymore. <laughs> no more. Please. Please, no more. <laughs> So I don't know why that came into my head. Oopa <laughs> uh, You're breathing a little. Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. Her doki doki. It it didn't. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. <laughs> uh, Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Ms. Anne, did something happen just now? Uh, I, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Oh. Sorry, can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? 
Oh no, not really. Never. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Like, what? N no, no nothing. What? <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly boop. I booped your nose. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with our sharing our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I should figured we should get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Who should I show my poem to first? Um, well, I guess that's a great time to end this. The first in the series of Doki Doki literature. Doki 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 Boom. Error 404. <laughs> but hey, if you like this, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord signing off. Have a good one, guys.